personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so one of the things that I feel like I can talk about now that the NOA forum fight has concluded is actually a fight that happened damn near 10 years ago because I, I wanted to highlight a fighter and an opponent of Naya Inoue, who, unless you're like a hardcore boxing fan or Inoue fan like myself, you won't really know who this guy is. Maybe you've only heard his name when Inoue fans try to argue his resume. But uh, that fighter is none other than, you know, the former Ring Magazine Unified Light, uh, light Flyweight Champion, Ryochi Taguchi. Yes, that Ryochi Taguchi. Now, it's been said many times, uh, in a way, he mentioned him as uh, one of his toughest fights. Um, I, I think it might actually be fair to say that he might have been in Iowa in a way's toughest fight. I mean, it's, it's a toss up between the first Donaire fight and Taguchi, but when you consider that the fight was 10 years ago, Ryoji Taguchi, um, I think at the time he fought in a way, let me see, he fought in a way. So at the time in a way, he fought in a way, he had already had 20 uh, professional fights. It was in a way's fourth professional fight. So there was a big a gap in experience going into the fight. So that's already a lot for Inoue to overcome. Um, mind you, I think, I think you know, Taguchi, very smart fighter. I think in that fight, one thing he did a great job of was smothering the 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 sharp, down, the straight punches from Inoue. Inoue has some of the straightest, sharpest punches in boxing. And what I really found interesting about this particular fight with Taguchi was it was one, it's one of the only fights where you see Naya Inoue in exchanges where the opponent is actually throwing sharp, accurate shots down the middle. And, and sometimes one of the exchanges with Inoue at mid-range, you know, um, and that's what made it impressive. Now, we could probably attribute these things to maybe Naya Inoue being a bit wet behind the ears. It's only a sport pro fight. Um, he's very young at this time. But still, when you look at what Inoue has been able to do since that fight, you can't really um, downplay what Taguchi was able to do. Now, um, Taguchi, he was a fighter that a lot of Inoue apologists would try to tell people about, hey, Naiwa Inoue beat this fighter in his fourth fight named Raj Taguchi, who was, became a unified champion um, you know, later on in his career. And Taguchi, I feel like when you talk about the underrated Japanese fighters of his era, I mean, he's definitely one of them. He, he, he's normally known as a guy that just fought in a way, but he did a lot more than just fight in a way. I mean, you look at after he lost in a way, if we just take his career from, from, from after the in a way fight on, um, just what it was it one, two, three fights later, he he wins the, the WBA light flyweight title, um, defends it, what was it one, two, three, four, five, six, he defends it six times, and then, um, in his seventh defense, he actually winds up unifying the belts. And becoming the Ring Magazine Lineal Champion, Unified Lineal Champion, the, the IBF, WBA, Ring Magazine, Lineal Light Flyweight Unified Champion. And he did it against another fighter who I feel gets overlooked in um, Milan Melindo. You know, Milan, Milan Melindo from the, the Philippines, very good fighter, a, a fighter that, you know, has fought the who's who of his era. You know, he's, he's Milan Melindo, a decent puncher. Um, not a, like a one punch uh, uh, guy, but you know a, a guy that's a workman like. He, he, I don't think his knockouts reflect in his percentages, but he's very got very good stamina, very well conditioned fighter. Um, Melindo has fought the who's who of of these lower weights. He's fought Ken Shiro. He fought uh, Ryoichi Taguchi. He fought Joseph Nakatani. He fought Gael Estrada, right? Um, but he's also fought guy you know guys he defeated as well. He he, he won the title by knocking out Akira Yagashi. Yagashi. We know what he's done. He's been lineal um, uh, flyweight champion. We uh, most of us know him from his fight with Gonzalez. Um, after that, he followed it up by by beating uh, Hecky Butler. And Hecky Butler is another fighter that's been around these weights for a long time. Um, you know, been unified champion himself, been Ring Magazine lineal champion himself. He's been holding it down for South Africa. Um, Hecky Butler. So Melindo to to win the title after he lost to Inoue, and then have a long title reign, and then unify it against. Um, Milan Melindo, it shows you the fighter that Taguchi is. And um, 
I'll, if you never watched that fight, if, if you're an Inoue fan or a newer Inoue fan or you want to really learn about some of the guys on his resume, go 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 watch Taguchi versus Inoue. Um, one of the few fights you'll ever see where the opponent that Inoue is fighting is actually at times winning the exchanges from the mid-range with sharp straight punches, pushing him back. Um, very, very entertaining fight. And when you watch that fight, it's kind of a preview of what was to come with Nayoa Inoue. But this really isn't about Inoue. This is really me highlighting a, a fighter from Japan who I'm a big fan of, who I have a lot of respect for, who I don't think he gets the credit he deserves. Um, you know, I, I think at this point he's probably retired because Taguchi hasn't fought since 2019. But he's fought everybody, man. He's fought the who's who of his division. Kota Tanaka, Heki Butler, Milan Milando, um, Nayawa Inoue, um, and the list goes on and on and on. So, um, yeah. Put some respect on Raju Taguchi. He is one of the true warriors of his era from Japan. Um, and definitely, uh, when, when, when looking at the resume of Inoue, for him to defeat a guy like that in his fourth pro fight... And I mean, what, 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 he's, I think Nayo Inoue is 30 years old now. That was 10 years ago. So he's, he's like, he's like 20 years old. So to, to, to defeat that guy in your fourth fight at 20 years old, um, it just goes to show you, um, how special the monster is. But even more so, it goes to show you how special Taguchi was. The fact that he was able to, after that loss, become champion, reign for a long time, unify the belt, become the man in the division. And um, still fight some of the top guys of his era uh, around his weights, like Kosai Tanaka and and and, and Heki Butler and, and and these kind of guys. So um, yeah, much respect to him. Much respect to uh, to Gucci. I like him, and hopefully, you know, I'm trying to go back to Japan early next year. So my my, my hope and my and my prayer to the good man upstairs is that uh, when I get there safely, God willing, um, I I get the opportunity to to meet Raj Ra Ra Gucci and interview him. You know, obviously with Inoue as well, if, 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 that, if the guy allows that to happen. I would like to talk to him because I feel like he's got a lot of valuable insights and, and, and great things to say about boxing, his career, the monster, um, guys from his era that he fought. And just, you know, I, I feel like it'd be a great conversation. So shout out to him. I wanted to give him his flowers while he's still here because a lot of times when people are here, they don't get the credit. They don't get the just do. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to give him his, his, his just do now. And I know I'm an American channel and he probably can't understand it then what I'm saying. But if somebody who's Japanese ever gets in this video that understands English, they can translate what I'm saying. Because I, I, I believe Ryo Taguchi is an amazing fighter who um, gets often overlooked when we talk about the great, the, the real good, the, 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 the warriors of modern day Japanese boxing. So, uh, yeah, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about Ryo Taguchi if you know anything about him. Um, if you've seen that NOA fight, let me know what you thought about it and what your assessments were. Uh, anything concerning Taguchi, because that, that's really who, who this whole video is about. Because the reality is this. He put up a better fight against NOA than Stephen Fulton did. And a lot, a lot of other guys that people thought, like Emmanuel Rodriguez as well, a lot of other guys that had more hype and, and notoriety than him. So, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel, so until next time, take your ass. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True School Sports Empire. We're here at the Hatanaka Boxing Gym in Nagoya, Japan. And uh, for more great videos just like this one, make sure you guys click right here.